Hello, welcome to A-Level Physics. My name is Mr Higginson, one of the physics teachers here at St Richard Quinn. I'd like to present to you a short overview of the A-Level Physics course that we deliver here at St Richard Quinn. The course is made up of five different units, with each unit having a slightly different focus. Unit 1 focuses on the work of Sir Isaac Newton, that deals with forces. Unit 2 deals with the work by uh, Joseph Thompson and George Thompson, and their work focuses primarily on the electron and the electron behaving in the wave. In Unit 13, we cover Units 3 and 4. Unit 3 focuses in on nuclear physics and the work done by Sir uh, by Einstein, as well as Sien Chung Wu, who was part of the Manhattan Project in the 1930s and 1940s. Unit 4 focuses on the work of Michael Faraday, who was responsible for investigating and finding the link between ele electrical circuits and magnetism. Unit 5 is a practical unit where we look to develop a student's practical skills, as well as introducing that person to new problem solving techniques as well as analysis techniques. By studying A level physics, you will become more confident in your problem solving skills as well as your mathematical skills, especially in terms of the application of your maths knowledge and your maths skill set. A level physics is an opportunity for you to go into more depth into subjects of interest to you as well as to consider the ethical, the moral and social implications of new technologies arriving from physics and physics investigations. A-level physics is also a well sought after qualification to move you forward in your career prospects. On the screen there are a few possible careers that people have gone into building on their A-level physics learning. Other students have decided to go to the university, and there's a whole range of universities providing physics courses or physics related courses. On the screen, there's a few universities where our previous students have gone to, including Oxford and Cambridge, and some of the courses that they have chosen to study. I hope you have found this of use, and I look forward to meeting you in September.